Hi, welcome to uh, Flight Test Behind the Scenes. I'm Chad, I'm the director. Um, today I am working on a little project of mine. For some reason, I got it in my head, I'd love to see a box fly. I thought it'd be cool. So I wanted it to look as much like a box as possible and actually be controllable in the air. Um, what we're doing, this is not a regular episode, this is part of our development. And uh, I wanted to invite the viewers in to be a part of it for future episodes. So what's happening is I only have this partially controllable and I wanna get your guys' input on uh, maybe some improvements before we, we could actually make it part of the show. So what I got going on here is a little 1600 kV motor. Um, I got a 30 amp uh, plush speed controller and I have a 2650 uh, nanotech battery. The reason the battery is so huge is I needed the nose weight. I started with the center of gravity in the middle and it was just totally uncontrollable so I moved it up, moved it up and the center of gravity is like at 10 or 15 percent and it's actually the best it's been. Um, but uh, I went with Elevons internally. I thought about doubling them up and, and making actually three of them or just two sets, the top and the bottom. But uh, I decided to go with the middle to see how that would work. The uh, prop is in the middle. I wanted to do a vertical takeoff and uh, have it controllable in the air. So it's made out of foam board and I have reinforcement with fiber, uh, carbon fiber and fiberglass rods on the edges so when I ditch it into the ground it doesn't completely destroy it. So let's try it. All right. Okay, ready, Job? Yep. Put on my neck strap of awesomeness. Here we go. Oh, it's actually working. <laughs> Somewhat. Up. Oh, I'm gonna set her down. <laughs> <laughs> that was not really what I expected. The only thing I changed from my last flight was the bigger battery to give uh, more nose weight. Um, I have to say it flew better than I expected, but I couldn't get it turned back around. Uh, what'd you think, Joe? I thought I thought it was crazy. I've never seen a box <laughs> fly like that before. I don't think we wrecked it, so I just kind of set her down easy. I couldn't, I couldn't turn it around for some reason. I think the, either the wind picked up or I'm not sure. So were you able to see it on camera? Yeah. Okay. It cool. just kind of set down. Yeah. And we did a. That's the nice thing is whenever it's, if I can't control it, all I have to do is kind of lower it. The wind definitely picked up. That might be part of the issue. It's not real good with the wind. All right. Here we go. Let's try it again. Ready? Yep. <laughs> that one that one scared me a little bit. You thought you were gonna hit his house? I have elevator control, so I have a lot of up and down. It's just not giving me any roll at all. Um, and I already maxed out the throws. So uh, I think maybe because I have all the weight on the bottom. Well, I think that's it for today. I, you know, I want to leave it at this and um, you know, say, hey, we have elevator control. It flies along pretty well. We just need a little more roll authority. And uh, I want to leave it up to you guys and see if you can give me some input. And I'll incorporate it on the show. And hopefully in a couple episodes away from now, we'll, we'll have a flying box. Thanks.